everybody. So, um, how do we start with this? Okay, so I've got a couple of projects here. Um, I've got something I've been working on recently, which is an HF antenna analyzer. There's this one particular design out there, which is based on a digital synthesis module, uh, which you just drive with a very inexpensive microcontroller. Uh, some diode rectification in there, uh, which just basically gives you a proportional voltage, which represents the the forward voltage uh, from the um, from the RF out from the from the direct digital synthesizer, and then you get uh, as a second voltage, uh, which is proportional to the reverse voltage coming back down the coax. You do some maths on the microcontroller, and you get a sweep. And guess what? It worked. I did not expect it to work, get based on sort of the component count and what was there and so on. Um, I do actually have on the floor here, of sorts, a dipole, but that's probably a better indication. That's a sweep of 20 meters uh, on, a, on a dipole, which I know does work. And you know what? It, it reads how it should read in the right places. Uh, it matches what the rig says. I haven't actually compared it against the proper analyzer because I still don't have one. <laughs> But you know what? It seems to work. Um, and subsequently, I found I think this this particular uh, synthesizer is good to about 30 megs or so. And my my you know this is the, the first RF circuit I've built, so my RF layout basically no good for anything but HF. But I'm told there are other synthesizer modules out there which which will be much better up above. 30 megs all the way up into sort of VHF, UHF territory. So, um, yeah, the basic design can be repurposed and reused at higher frequencies as well. Um, the software as well that's floating around online for this and indeed the, the protocol implemented uh, for the for the comms between the micro and the PC is fairly pants. So I kind of <coughs> rewrote that um, just in an evening or two. Um, there's a continual sweep on here as well. You get about a sweep a second, but you can tweak that so it's much faster just by taking fewer samples. And the synthesizer on here, I think you get, I don't know, it's, it's a couple of microwatts out. It's very, very low output. Um, so uh, coming coming off this, you, um, you well, when I first built it, I found that the... Um, the coax run I have, I had some a, a reasonably long run, a very thin was your RG174, very, very thin stuff. And I was finding that all of the power coming back down the coax was just getting lost. So this was reading fairly flat. And I just thought, oh, you know what, it doesn't work. Let's write it off. But it just occurred to me, hang on a minute. No, I know that coax is rubbish. I know the output of that is low. Let's just see. And sure enough, hopped up into the attic with this setup, put this on the feed point, and it was an absolutely perfect sweep and did the job. So yeah, that's it for that one. Um, do you want to come back to the deal one later? Or? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. All right, cool. So any questions on the analyzer? Oh, two, go ahead. Um, the synthesizer chip that you're using, what, what is that? Do you know? It's an AD9850. Oh, yes. Um, the mod oh yeah, so uh, the bill of materials for this, obviously it's just on a couple of bits of copper clad board and since then I've added a USB adapter for it as well, but the basic board here, uh, the, the total bill of materials came to about £17 or so and it just worked. Um, did it Manhattan style but you could do a PCB if you're feeling fancy. Go ahead. Um, the display on the PC, is that some software you wrote or yes. is that something... Yeah, so um, I've, I've just I've stuck this up on GitHub, so it's open source for anyone who wants to grab it. Um, the uh, it, it's really trivial. There's like maybe about well, actually the the more complicated end is the firmware on the microcontroller, but even then it's That's a bit like code with this piece here. Yeah, <laughs> this does little more than than send a command to do a sweep with a start and an end frequency. And this does little more than returns a commissary process value list, list of numbers over serial, and this just plots it on the on the screen. Um, you know, that's probably 50 lines of code. It's it's really not difficult. You you if you can do that, you can do that. Go ahead. Um, have you tried this with um, perhaps an antenna for 80 meters? One of the issues that you might 
have with such a low power output is that if you have any broadcast RF, yeah. that that could affect your VSWR bridge and yeah. therefore give you um, fluctuating and erroneous readings. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of the antenna analyzers are, are very battery hungry because they, yeah. they, they want to pump out some power to avoid those kind of issues. Yeah, I wondered if you tried it on a low band antenna. I haven't. Uh, the, the two bits of wire on the floor are for 10 meters and I get a reasonably decent sweep yeah. on that. This is a 20 meter sweep. I've not got a bigger antenna to try it on, so you're more than welcome. <laughs> um, the other thing, of course, uh, there, is a, there is a mod available for this little module just floating around. Uh, it's, it's move a resistor and put some wire across. That bumps the, the power output of that module up. But then there's also the, the suggestion of using um, an amplifier of some description, yeah. but you know, it's, then it's just maths. Any other questions at all? No? All good? Cheers, John. Yeah.